Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Closer, I need you, but darling, don't stay. Hi, and welcome to Dex Chats again. We're here, and this time we're talking to someone from New Zealand. Um, I haven't heard much about this guy um, until probably. Well, actually, I hadn't heard about him until the pandemic started, where I saw him on a live feed uh, with Tony Q. Um, and apparently he went to the uh, Senior Country Music Academy in Tamworth with Tony Q. Um, this guy, I tell you, is damn good, all right? And his brand new song, well, it's not brand new it's a, a while a while ago but it's his debut single it's called damn love and his name is Jaden shingleton and today dax chats to Jaden shingleton here he is g'day Jaden. g'day mate how are you I'm all right. I'm all right. So, as I just said in my intro, I had not heard of you anywhere, and and uh, we've just talked off screen about uh, about some amazing things that have taken place throughout the whole process. Um, can can you walk us through how damn love? you know, the single came about and, and and how long it took you to get there and what happened before you got there. Sure. I mean, I, I hear, I hear the, um, the, the fact that no one's heard of me quite a, quite a lot because, one, I'm from New Zealand, which kind of sucks, I know. Um, I tell I, 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 I tell you what, that's that's very true. Um, New Zealand, we have found, like I do know a few artists in New Zealand, but we have found that New Zealand seems to be closed off. And so unless the artists have actually been to Australia and done things in Australia or released their music in Australia, we know nothing of them. Yeah, no, and you did right. And, and it's a bit of a shame because I wish our, mm. um, our music um, economy, I suppose you could say, would blow up. I, I just wish mm. it did, um, but unfortunately, um, we, especially it's it's more country as well. Um, a country gets kind of pushed down a little bit. Um, we got the likes of Six Sixty who who are out in, in the wide world, and that's just because they're genuinely amazing. But um, not to mention, I also live on the west coast in the South Island, out of harm's way. Um, completely, you know, people would know about Christchurch and and stuff like that. That's probably the nearest big place to where i live i live four hours away from me on the west coast i love it mm. <laughs> peaceful <laughs> mm. so um i do hear that quite a lot um no one knows who i am that's fine mm. um i quite i quite like it actually i quite i actually quite like that no one's heard of me and then suddenly hi <laughs> i'm here <laughs> i'm here <laughs> i'm here um but as for the story of my song um Started in 2019. Let's get this right. <laughs> Off camera, I kind of got, I went on a tangent in the wrong, in the wrong year. But um, in 2019, um, I decided I wanted to go to the um, the Academy of Country Music in Tamworth. Um, and I did a lot of fundraising, all thanks to my little town of Westport, um, who gave so much. Um, and suddenly I'm in Tamworth, Australia. Woohoo! Mm. Um, straight mm. off the plane and straight down to the academy, and I did an intense two weeks uh, with, like everybody else. Um, and whilst I was there, everyone got an opportunity to co-write a song with um, uh, a, a few of the selected people that were there. Um, I got to um, work with Gunnar's, I think it's Gunnar's, Gunnar's uh, Katrina Burgoyne, who now lives in Nashville. So I thought yep. that's pretty cool. I kind of, kind yep, of, we'll be. We'll be speaking to uh, Katrina, um, I believe, on the 1st of August uh, at 10 a.m. Central, uh, from, live from Nashville. So there you go. Ooh. Oh, nice. I, oh, I, I might be turning to that one. 
My mate yeah. should talk about me. Nah. <laughs> I, I, I'll, t- I'll talk to her about you now, too. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> um, so I got, a, um, got to, I got to write with Katrina, and I'm so glad I did. Um, she was like, you know, if you're cool with it, you know, just just open up. Spill your guts. I want to know the ins and outs of what's been going on, you know, ha- you know what can we write about? And so... Mm. Um, we kind of just vibed with each other and got a bit of re- uh, relating going on, and we came up with the song that um, she said, you know, let's let's try and make the next Tennessee whiskey, something that's mm. you know going to get stuck in your head, and mm. uh, thus, Damn Love was born in its first um, evolution, <laughs> um, and then and then it slowly, slowly evolved from there to what it is now, um, with a lot of protest. <laughs> So I, me and Katrina wrote the song originally in obviously January of 2019. Um, I then went and enjoyed the Tamworth Country Music Festival, got a couple of opportunities to sing the song and got some really cool feedback about it as well. Um, I then went home for a couple of months and then um, I travelled to Norfolk Island to compete in the um, Trans-Tasman Entertainer of the Year, um, along with enjoying such a lovely island. It's you should go. Have you wow. been? Yeah. No, no, I have not. You should definitely go. It's beautiful. Um, oh, yeah. And so I got to compete uh, against um, uh, some other people from New Zealand came over, um, and unfortunately, there was only one Australian that year. I have no idea why, but um, mm. I um, I came home with the Trans Tasman Entertainer of the Year, um, and right. along with um, most original song. Right, because <laughs> um, I sung "Damn Love" in the competition, so I brought that one home to New Zealand, which was quite cool. <laughs> yep, for um, sure. And then, and then a few months later, after that, um, I competed in um, probably considered New Zealand's biggest country music awards uh, in the heart of Southland, down in the deep south of New Zealand, um, in a place called Gore. So mm. That's why it's called the Gore Gold Guitar Awards. Um, and th- that's a three day competition with probably over oh, 300 performers and over yep. uh, 1200, 1200 different like people singing, like you know, wow. same people singing in different sections. There's well yep. over 1200 performances that weekend, it's massive, wow. <laughs> like 58 people to a section. Um, and um, af- after a grueling three days, um, I came home with the, uh, the golden guitar um, wow. for Damn Love. Um, and they um, gave, well, the, the prize essentially was kind of like a, um, an artist Kickstarter. That's kind of yep. what, what it happens, is that they give you um, all these different options of things to do. Um, they gave me a guitar that I play yeah. regularly. You know, it's a beautiful Martin guitar. Um, they mm. gave, and oh, most importantly, they um, gave me, I think it must have been two and a half grand, not in cash, obviously, but um, to record um, at, in Australia with um, Andrew Cochran, who owns Red Engine Recording Studios. So, yep. um, but we don't go there just yet because so, I've come home from Gore now and... Um, they, they asked me to do a live stream, um, which mm. then has now evolved into every fortnight I do a live stream on my Facebook page um, yep. where we just sit down and do some requests and have a chat for an hour or so every uh, every fortnight on a Monday. Um, yeah, it's good fun. So that's just a little side note. I enjoy it. It's good fun. Yep. Um, and <laughs> now we move on to New Zealand's Entertainer of the Year. That was in about October. Um, <laughs> I uh, flew up to Tauranga up in the North Island and um, was humbly humbly takes home the prize of New Zealand's Entertainer of the Year as well. Um, <laughs> so, so, so you've, so you've, you've won the Trans Tasman Norfolk Island uh, Awards uh, for Best Song and Entertainer. Uh, you've got and won yourself a gold guitar in, in, in New Zealand. Uh, and, and you've gone and got uh, the New Zealand's Entertainer of the Year all without recording this song yet. No, I hadn't. I hadn't even thought about it, to be genuinely honest, uh, because, of course, recording a song 
it was quite pricey. Um, mm. But because I'd won the Gold Guitar Awards, they've given me this this prize, so I needed to get this done. But um, because Andrew was so to the schedule of he had, because he's quite popular now, um, yep. we had to make some time. But no, I hadn't recorded the song until um, early 2020. So yeah. that whole year of 2019, um, people had just been hearing me do it live on my um, on my live streams and or at a competition or a concert that I was at. So so no. so, 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 <laughs> so 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 let's try let's let's try this again because I think you you got the years mixed up again because in 2019 the single came out. So in 2008 yeah, it came out in 2020. Oh, it came out in 2020, early 2020, through the pandemic. Uh, May of 2020, through the pandemic. Right, exactly. Right. Oh, well, that's me getting my dates mixed up now. Thank you. Are we able to stop and change that? No, it's all good. It's fine. It's fine. So yeah, that's right. So 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 you did you didn't get uh, so you won all these accolades in in 2019, and then in in, in early 2020 you finally got to Australia to record yeah. the, the the track that you won all the awards for. That's Great. just so that's that's just backwards. That's just <laughs> backwards. <laughs> well, I, I I've always had this. Um, lack of confidence uh, that you know I eh, there's so many other good people out there why jump into such a, a the, the big hole of so many amazing artists you know I so I've always had this self doubt um, so, yeah and, but then after winning Norfolk Island I thought Ooh, eh. <laughs> some people like me I suppose and then the gold guitars were like a good, good pick in the teeth like come on man you know, yeah. you, there must there's something going on here, and then yeah. I go up to um, the North Island and take New Zealand the Entertainer. The year. I was like, okay, maybe I am just being a little bit of an idiot. <laughs> Dude, I tell you, I tell you what, when I heard the track. When we find when when the world finally got to hear the track because it's playing on the Country Thunder Network, um, thank you very much. <laughs> it it is phenomenal, and you have a phenomenal voice, and 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 I, you're not the only New Zealander to have a phenomenal voice. I mean, there's so much great talent that's come out of New Zealand over the years. You know, Absolutely. I've sung. I've I've actually got to sing with John Stevens from from Noiseworks. Um, he's he, he's he's just a brilliant entertainer um, and such a nice bloke. I got to sing with oh years and years back. I got to sing with um, what's his name, John Rolls. Um, I tell you what, John John Rolls is from New Zealand. Uh, he does very cabaret style. Um, uh, uh, songs. I think uh, "Hush, Not a Word to Mary" was one of his songs. He was like seventies, you know, an entertainer in the in the seventies. Uh, to Kiri Kiriana, uh, there was uh, there's, yeah, a whole whole heap of stuff that he used to do. Um, and uh, I got to sing with him in the Gold Coast in Runaway Bay, um, and that was and that was amazing. Um, New Zealanders just have this god-given gift and i don't know why you guys just don't go here it is people <laughs> well that's the thing is, is that believe it or not there are so many people who actually are from new zealand so many new zealanders do actually put themselves out there but they don't they, they don't um manage to get that far abroad mm. um and it, mm. it really does suck um mm. I, I don't know why I have no idea why, um, and I hope that that doesn't um, offend anyone that's watching. But it's just nah. what it happens. It's just what it does, and it mm. sucks. <laughs> Quite frankly, so. look, I, I I I agree with you because um, I think. I think the process that uh, people follow, there's a certain process within New Zealand that we, we don't know about outside of New Zealand. Um, whereas, you know, with, with Australia, um, there's, there's 
places that send music out to radio stations straight away you know like you know if you if like you know you know um phil and lana duble because phil was telling me that he, that he would that he would hook us up and i said oh don't worry i, I know i'd shame i don't i said Jaden's on my on my friends list now already i'm gonna i'm gonna talk to him but i, I, talk, I talked to phil I, I talked to Phil the other day, and, and uh, he he, uh, he said that it eludes him as to the reasons why uh, New Zealand entertainers don't get recognised internationally, um, and I think it's because the distribution network is not there. You know, like for 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 Australia, we've got this distribution network where you've got CRS distribution, you've got social family records, you've got check label services, you've got publicists left, right and centre, all sending you info all sending you information about new artists. But nothing comes out of New Zealand nothing comes out of New Zealand for for us on radio unless it's actually being released in Australia through CRS or check label services or something like that. So that's the problem that we have because we don't know what the distribution system is in, in New Zealand. And I've tried to talk to Ali Cook about it because Ali Cook's sort of the only person that I know that works between Australia and New Zealand and she can't even tell me what the what the, the go is. Yeah, well, I mean, because I, um, I, I got the lucky opportunity of um, connecting up with Judy Kelly. And so mm. uh, he came over to New Zealand and we um, we did a four-show tour just to put, mm. a, put, put our toes in the water for Judah. And then we ended up going with a New Zealand-wide tour. We had 17 show planned and then um, it happened just as... Um, uh, COVID started spreading, so we ended up having mm. to send Judah home and cancel the whole tour. But mm. um, he, from, from with his record label, I believe, um, is Universal. I, I, I think, I'm, uh, yeah, Universal. But when he comes abroad, like to um, Australia, uh, New Zealand, um, his Universal kind of recontracted thing kind of just expires. Like it doesn't. It only yeah. it only happens in Australia, and it's only it's only it's. Only, it's, it's yeah, the same goes to the other way. So we've got Universal yeah. New Zealand, and yeah. it just 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 distributes over New Zealand, and they don't seem to push it yeah. that yeah. far abroad. So that's yeah, that's where I was going with that. Was that yeah, yeah, yeah. So so Universal Universal so Universal distribute to the the the, the country that they're working with, um, unless you've got a worldwide distribution contract, then that that changes. So when you when you talk, when you're talking to a record company like the, like Universal, you you basically have to stipulate that that ha it has to be a a worldwide contract to get it out there. Otherwise, it will just be localized. Yeah, oh, I don't. I, I I I haven't checked. To be genuinely honest, I haven't gone out and checked. I've just been kind of doing my own thing um, and, and just doing this little wave that I'm on with uh, with Dan Love. Um, mm. It's it's not doing it's not doing as bad as I thought it was going to. I was like, oh yeah, my mates are interested in it. You know, now it's um I can probably I'll do a live update. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. Dude, we go to sixty countries around the world, and your and your song plays on our radio station. So you're get you're getting pe you're getting people on Spotify from all over the world by now. Um, there's no there's, there's no two ways about it. I got to play. I think it shows us the, shows me the countries, and there's yep. one from like Brazil and South yep. Africa. I was like, yep. <laughs> this is awesome. But yep, and I, I and, and, and I tell you. Yep. 21,201. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. I'm so stoked. I'm so happy. <laughs> well, I know that we have regular listeners in Brazil um, every day. Um, so I reckon that's come That's come from us. Yeehaw. Thank you I like much. that. Thank you. Thank you I like that. that. <laughs> uh, and, I, and and you and you said you said Brazil and, and South Africa. We also have regular listeners from South Africa. So uh, South yeah, Africa we do. Is, I get 20, around about twenty six streams over the past twenty eight days. And there you go. No way. Just me, little New Zealand Jaden has put um, no. a song up on Spotify, and it's gotten to South Africa. In Japan. So, so do you know, do you know do you, do you know how many other radio stations outside of New Zealand actually have the track? Yep, um, Crow FM. 
Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm not 100% sure where Crow is. Um, uh, that is it, I think. I think I did another... I did another um, another uh, interview with another radio station, and I ha can't quite remember where it was, but that was um, all hooked up through um, Beck uh, Race, the, the country Juno. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. She she hooked me up with uh, yeah. with a few radio stations, and now and I and, 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 and I I actually saw that she put you on her uh, uh, country Juno Spotify playlist recently as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's so humbling. It, it honestly yeah. is. Um, and even the academy, there's a, the academy have their own Spotify playlist of everyone that's been through the academy. Um, yep, yep. They've, they've made a playlist for that, and I'm on that one as well. So it's 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 it's, it's, it's crazy. It's it's something that you just dream about, and yep. then suddenly it's becoming a reality. It's also awesome. Well, it, it, it is a reality. It is a, it is a brilliant song. Um, and, I mean, I don't have the vocals that you have. Never will have. <laughs> um, you know, I was going to try and sing it in the, in the intro, but then I couldn't get there. <laughs> so, <Yeah>. no way. <laughs> um, it's quite grunting. Like, if... Um, if I've just done a big set and people are like, damn love, damn love, it's like, okay. And then you get to the end of the song, it's like, oh, I've got stomach cramp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I've got to, I've got to ask. Um, I'm not worried about the COVID thing because we've had so much to talk about. We don't have to worry about COVID, which is great. Um, but what is next for you? Are you going to bring out a new single? Are you going to do something new? Because this is may that this came out um what's coming we need something yeah. new now <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I i agree and i want to do something new um i've been writing locally because obviously i can't really go far so and yeah, it's, yeah. i mean not that that stops people you know it, it, it's it's not hard to 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 co-write you know, through the internet um but um i've been writing locally with a friend of mine who um who used to uh, she had her own um, record label and stuff. Who actually, she lives here, um, mm. but then she had children, and mm. she 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 quotes you know kind of killed that. Um, yeah. But yeah, no. So she she's been trying to get back into her music, and so we've been doing a bit of co-writing, and we've got probably another five songs lined up that I that mm. I um, sing on my lives. Um, mm -hmm. But I am looking at getting one of those recorded very soon. Cool. Um, a few of them are ready to go. Good, excellent, excellent. Because we all we we, we want to hear more Jaden Shingleton. I really do. I tell you what, <laughs> when I, you 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 certainly knocked you. You know, you, I I guess when, when you said it, you you had uh, that you're the New Zealand version of Chris Stapleton. Uh, you know, like but that was but, <laughs> but but in but in a much better way. I I think you know, wow, that it's bluesy, it's soulful, it's just, there's just there's nothing that I can fault in the track. It is that bloody good, vocally, so musically, the whole lot. It's just brilliant. Jaden, thank you for taking time to speak to Dax. Um, thank you for your wonderful voice. Uh, thank you for being part of the Country Thunder Network, and I really hope to hear something new from you very soon. Thank you so very much for having me. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. No, no worries, buddy. You have a great day. Oh, night. Sorry, it's night time over there. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right. You have a good night, buddy. And you. Thank you so much. All right, that was Jaden Shingleton. His debut single is called Damn Love, and it is playing on the Country Thunder Network. You can vote for it on the Country Thunder 20, so please get your votes in. Vote for the song. It's damn good. Um, until next time, this is Dax signing out for Dax Chats, uh, which is proudly supported by Neon Horse in Stanhope, Victoria. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.